Hi and welcome to my channel Hisam Artwork. Hope you're having a good day. So in this video I'm going to discuss how you can color your line art and there are kind of three ways you can do that in Clip Studio Paint in my opinion. So kind of the first way you can do it is if you go to effects and then to layer and you add a color to uh, your line art layer. So here you can see in my illustration I have for Erwin a line art layer and a color layer. And if I go here to effects and then I select layer color, now it is blue. And of course I can change to whatever color I want. For example, I can do a red line art um, for my illustration. So that is one way you can do it. And of course you got many other features in here. I don't know if I should go into them at the moment because it can get like pretty hectic and confusing as to all the things that you can do here. For example, if you want that comic book look with uh, the wide line art or things like that, you can do that, but it's recommended you do, do it for the um, uh, color layer, not this one. But that was one example. So the effects layer color like I said, there are many features here, you can get into it and play with them, but if you're a beginner and you don't know how to work around in Clip Studio Paint, I recommend you first try out this uh, technique with the layer color. Now, another way you can do it is if you have a raster layer line art, and this is what I have here. It is not vector. And you can go and you can either use the brush tool and you just color it. Uh, that is one way. It's pretty much the same result almost as the effect, but with the problem that it doesn't cover perfectly, so you have these remainers, vestiges of the old color. So if you're going for a full color, my recommendation would be to use the effect. You see, you have less of an issue with that. Uh, you still have the um, color underneath, so you have to be careful about that as well. That you don't have any bleeding. Let me color it in better. There we go. And I'm removing the uh, effect. And as you can see, you still have some of that black line art pixels left behind. If you add the effect, you don't do have that issue anymore. But maybe you don't want it to be a full color. Maybe you want it to be gradient like I uh, described earlier. So you can choose your gradient. And you have many gradients here. I might do a tutorial on gradients later on, but for uh, the purposes of this uh, little tutorial, I'm not going to do that now. And let's choose green so it's uh, more obvious the difference in color. And as you can see with gradient, I was able to do pink on top and green below for the line art. And again, as you were using the brush, you have the same issue. Uh, with uh, you can have like vestiges of the pixel art so always be careful and have that in mind depends how high the resolution is how big the detailing if that stuff will show up or not uh, my recommendation is to always uh, make illustrations with high resolution because these issues will be minimized um, if the resolution is higher. So the problem pixels would just be smaller. And the uh, third uh, way you can do it is only if you have a vector line art and you go here where you're making new layers and you have new raster layer and new vector layer. And 
and uh, once you have that vector layer you can draw on it uh, and make a vector line art so to test if you have a vector line art you have these curves and you can only do this on a vector line art so if you can't do this to your line art then you haven't made a vector line art layer and you can also select it and move it around and delete it as you can see here I'm removing parts of the line art there we go so if you can do this then you have the right line art uh, vector layer okay so what you can do now is go to operations you have this little box here and it says operations and then you go click on the object for, uh, option and then you click pieces of your line art and if you can select these that means you can also co color them to whatever color you need so I'm gonna give you an example of a practical use for this for example here I have one color line art for my clothing uh, for the shirt I have another one for the pants boots have red line art the face has a peach color line art the orange has an orange line art well it's more of a light brown and the Junimos, uh, I made some fan art for Stardew Valley, I'm a big fan. <laughs> and the Junimos have green uh, line art. And you want to be able to kind of select the line art. And like I said, you can color it everywhere you need. Let's say we want to make it a plum so we've made a purple line art so yeah these are kind of the three ways you can do this um, I really love the vector options in Clip Studio Paint I think it's really awesome how you can um, change the uh, line art and have it vector and it's just so convenient um, when you're making comic books so for my first book Niels Fama's tra time traveling adventures um, I did it in Clip Studio Paint with basic black uh, line art and I'm hoping for book two to do colored line art for uh, the characters because I just feel it gives them kind of more cheer and life and it makes the artwork more interesting but it's gonna be more work and I think that Clip Studio Paint does such a good job of it it makes the work a lot easier and it's also much better for making uh, vector line art so for my book Ernest uh, and Coraline Travel Through the USA um, I did it all in Illustrator and I illustrated the characters in that program and they had um, colored line art for their appearance and I really like that but I feel that uh, making line art in uh, Illustrator is not as easy as fun and um, flexible as in Clip Studio Paint so that's why I decided to go forward with Clip Studio Paint uh, so yeah hope that uh, cleared up for you guys uh, how you can do these things uh, as always, if you have any other questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I do my best to explain these for you. Um, this uh, beginner tutorial series was requested by my friends at Team Man Up. Um, they're a little company that supports indie creators. So if you're interested in that, go check them out. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.